How you feel, bro? Good, bro. Yeah? Yeah. You sound good. I'm, I'm hearing you clear. You hear me? Yes, sir. You're good to go? Yeah. Bro, I'm glad that we finally sat down and had this conversation, G. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want I want to introduce you. I want you to introduce yourself. I want you to, what are we doing? Where are we at? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let we, me know. Well, I'm Malcolm. Vegas Fades on Instagram. Uh, Man of the Woods Mobile Barbershop in Bozeman, Montana. And, yeah. Out here cutting, slinging cuts, and lining people up. <laughs> slinging cuts, lining people up, bro. Yes, sir. I hear you. This shit looks real dope too. If you, if you passing Main Street, that's that's where we at right now. You see us, and it's like a, you know, what I'm saying like a little hair cutting oasis right there. Oh, bro, we gotta you know do, we gotta do one at night because if it's dark outside, you can see in. Oh, the lights and shit from all the windows. Yeah, no, okay. we, you can see us clear as day at night. They can't oh, see in. They I can't see in right now because it's wrapped. Got you. Yeah. Got you. But at nighttime, they yeah. can see in through the lights, yeah. so it looked like we be in here. Yeah. Give us yeah. little Christmas haircuts, probably because like the lights is like yeah. all <laughs> glistening from the street yeah, and shit. Yeah, bro. Bro, that's what's up, man. This is a uh, ah, shit. When did I get my first cut by you, bro? I think I met you a few. It's been a few uh, months I, ago. When I first moved out here, yeah, about yeah. a month after I moved out here, two okay. months. Okay, so so a few months total. Yeah, and it feels nice, bro. First cut I had in here, I was like, it's nice and cozy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like it's it's probably like 85 degrees outside right now. It's it's like what 60 in here? 75. 75 in here. Yeah, Shit, well, it feels good. AC going. It yeah. feels like 60. Yeah. We got AC going because <laughs> we right under it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro. Yeah, you got that shit right there. Yeah. Under the ceiling, man. It's nice in here. I like it. Yeah. I like it, bro. Like, uh, I think you gave me a beer the first time. Yeah. First time I pull it through, it's like you sit down, you get a beer and shit. Yeah, man, come chill, get a haircut. Haircut, yeah, man. get, get cleaned up. Beer. Yeah, bro, it was wild, man. I know you, you, uh, you was telling me uh, how you recruit potential uh, customers. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, bro, my girl's a GM of B Dove, so. Bro, I, I go over there and chill, and yeah, man, I see people walking with fucking <laughs> and, and, bro, I'm like, yeah, man, who did that to you? Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, that's my lead-in, man. Like <laughs> Always, bro. But even when I was in barber school in Boise, bro, that was my lead-in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, what happened who, to you, bro? Who did that to you? Don't go back. <laughs> Don't go back. I got you. I got you. Yes, let, me, let me get something better. Yes, sir. Man, that's, that, hey, look. It works. It works, bro. Really, I works. haven't had anybody get well. One dude got a complex about it, but like, <laughs> I'm. He's like, "What you mean?" Well, no, nah, he mean, bro, asked his friend. Crispy. He went to the bathroom, bro. Looked in the mirror, came back and asked his friend, and his boy was like, "Yes, yeah, right where he said it is." <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Bro, look, be honest, bro. Yeah. Shit, he, he probably just didn't ask before. That was the problem. Well, no, no, he didn't ask. Bro, nobody tells anybody anything anymore. They just let him walk around looking raggedy and just they don't say shit. Like a damn fool. Yeah, bro. But back in the day, we used man. If you walked around, boy, if you became back, <laughs> bro, come back to the, come back to the neighborhood with a fucked up. Bro, cut. you ain't making it through first bro, period. Oh no, bro, first period. You come in, you come up in there looking all roasted, <laughs> roasted, bro. Yeah, no, nobody's safe. <laughs> bro, look, look, nobody's safe, bro. Nobody's and safe, I, bro. I think more of that needs to be. Around, man. like people need to feel like they gonna get made fun of if they're doing some weird well, shit. No, but like see, we normalize that. But what started happening was people started getting sensitive, yeah. and then and then so people stopped pushing. They just said, "Oh well," and let them be. Like back then, we didn't give a fuck. If you got sensitive, we got you even more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you toughened up. That's eventually. it. If yeah, eventually either that or you got new bro. friends. <laughs> 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 either that or you went and found a new group. Oh, you, period. Bro, like, period. Look, look, man. Like everything. Some things I think you need to get, you need to catch shit for, bro. Like some people need to catch shit for shit, oh, yes. and and then you move on. You know, you know to change that and not just sit in it. Well, see, but it's a different type of world now because everything's social media. And back in the day, like you had to deal with the people giving you shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now you like if the people were talking shit to you, you had to face them. Like you couldn't just turn your computer off or turn your phone off. Yeah, they was outside. They was outside. Yeah. They was at, at school with you. Mm -hmm. Like, you couldn't run from them. So, but now all this, it's all social media bullying. That shit is mental. Yeah. That's why that's why kids are killing themselves and shit, because they don't know how to deal with it. Like, our type of bully. it stays around, bro, never our, resolves. Yeah, our type of bully was good. Like, it was good for kids, because you had to deal with that and stand up. 
Yeah. Period. Learn, hey, learn you learn some, yeah, you learn some shit about you. You learn some shit about them. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Bro, hey. that, look, we need to somehow start promoting that again, bro. I, I don't know. How, how, how do you do that? How do you start tougher than people? It's hard, like, bro, when they promoting all this other shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, come on, man. Bro, that's probably how they got us in, a, but, in no, this trailer talking real shit right now. Well, but at the end of the day, bro, if you walk around with your chest up with confidence, People take that as a threat. And, like, it didn't used to be a threat to carry yourself the right way. Yeah, it used to be cool. No, bro. It's it like, like, yeah, that's cool. how you met so, good people. Yeah. Was carrying yourself the right way. Now people are so nervous and scared and, you know what I'm saying? It, yeah. just, it just doesn't make sense, bro. Like, there's no way that they're going to show you who they are because they don't even know type shit. Like, no. They can't be themselves because they don't know no. who, who themselves are. So you bro, dealing with shit like that. Me and my boy. That owns this, shout out Kyle Pemberton, man of the woods owner. There you go. My hey. boy. And, yeah. uh, man, we go out, bro, and, and bro, he's 6'8". Like, these are big dudes. Big dude. <laughs> and, bro, people move out. We're walking down the street. People move. It's like, come on, man. What are you moving for? We're walking down the street. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> what, the, what are you nervous for? Like, what are you hiding? <laughs> Like what are you? Yeah. Oh like my God. bro, but that what are you nervous for? Yeah, you know what I mean. Cause bro, yeah, like I've just done, chill, just be you. Like bro, I've done some shit in my life, you. and I'm not nervous no more. Yeah, like yeah. You had to, to. Were you ever nervous? Fuck yeah, bro. Yeah. You riding in the car with, with a lot of work. <laughs> oh, bro, yeah, bro. You have some reasons to be nervous, they bro. Hit, just from the stories you've already told me, I know you had some. They hit I mean, the I lights and you got a couple situations. They hit the lights. You got some work in the car. It's all bad. Yeah, that's yeah. a whole different kind of sweat, <laughs> bro. Man, we gotta we, we gotta get in that. Let's get into some of that because that's um, the kind of people that that I realize that I like and I'm that I'm drawn to, bro. Are, are people that go through they go through shit, they've been through shit, right? And and they and they're still going, like they're still going because of it, or they're still going through it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like those are the people that 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 are just. I just I'm drawn to. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah. So like when you start telling me like your your story and the hustle and uh and like what you've been doing, like where you've been, where you're at now, yeah. bro, the shit's remarkable. Like the shit's like yeah. nigga, the shit's crazy, it's bro. That's why that, that's why we ended up here, because it's just yeah, crazy, yeah, bro. Yeah. So like I wanna talk about that so like people can hear that, so they so they can hear this shit because this is the stories that, you know, from you know, lo- taking a loss to turning it around, you know what I'm saying, getting your life bro, together. I'm taking more than one loss, bro. You feel I've me? lost it all a few times. <laughs> a few times. Yeah. And got bro. it back and still kept going, bro. So yeah. that's that's we need like, to talk about that, bro. Yeah. So like what what's the um when's the first time you were locked up? Or or, or when's the first time you got 2000. into two thousand. Like no well, I was in I was in juvenile hall when I was a kid and shit, fucking up. But that was only short short yeah. stance. The real but, shit. Like first time I got sent was two thousand. In two thousand. Yeah. I was 18 years old. I caught a few felonies in a short period of time. It was on paper. It was just all bad. And then I, on my la- on my third one, they finally said, nah, I mean, like I went and did 25 months in N- Nevada. At 18? Yeah. Okay. And, yeah, that was wild. So that was like, that had to be like the first. Bro, I opened High Desert State Penitentiary. And, bro. That yeah, it's wild. Like my it's, brother it's, was up there, bro. Bro, it's a it's sharks and boy, eighteen years old, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it don't quick. matter, hey, bro. It don't matter what you think you are on the streets. Like that's a whole different type of environment. Like, like you gotta learn, you, bro. Quick. You ain't there. Ain't no guns, no guns or none of that back there, bro. Like you gotta stand on whatever, right there, and you yeah. It's almost like old law, you know what I'm saying? Because like you gotta, it's what you can do with your with yes. your fist, your hands, your body, your mind. It's like a game, like a yeah, bro. But a lot of the shit that goes on in there is bullshit too, bro. Like people, yeah, do foul shit to their own people, bro. Like all that, yeah, man. I've I've seen a lot of foul shit in there, and that shit don't make nobody better, bro. No, nah, hell no. Nah. So, so because, going into 18, did you think that you would get out? Like, did you think that, like, because 25 months, bro, like, that's a... I didn't even care, bro. It wasn't nothing. I, bro, I was gone. Okay, already? I, bro, I was already on dope for 
four or five years. Okay. Like, I was already, bro, I was, I'm lucky I didn't get called for worse. Like, I gotcha. was out there. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so it, it was just like a, it was like just pulling off the side of the road for you. Then, yeah, bro, it was a break. Good. It was a break. Back out. Get my system clean and, and, and go right back at it. Like, I got out from that one and ended up moving to St. Petersburg, Florida a couple months later. And, yeah, bro, I thought I was going to go out to Florida and do the right thing. And, yeah, bro, yeah, Florida was wild. Yeah. Oh, bro. <laughs> Just, I mean, because you were, bro, what, at that point, what, like 19, 20? I, no, I, like I, I, I turned 21 in St. Pete. Oh, got you. Okay. Yeah. I left when I was 20, turned 21 in St. Pete. I, I was there in 03. Got you. Okay. Yeah, down on 19th Ave and Haynes Road. Yeah, bro. And it was wild. Yeah. It was a wild one. Oh, man. Something, man. man. I didn't work. I didn't have a job the whole time I was there. Just getting it in. <laughs> bro. Yeah. Yeah, bro. My girl. Yeah. Yeah. I met some people. And yep. Yeah, we had fun. And that's after you got out, though. Yeah. So it was like you, you felt you had shit to catch up on, bro. Because, I mean, you was Oh, you I was, was kid. free, bro. I topped yeah. out. Yeah. I gave him the whole number back. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Let's go. Yep. I'm not on uh, probation. You can't search my car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, listen. If I ain't on paper, you're not getting yeah. in this motherfucker. I'm going to live like I'm free. So period. I am free. I'm living like I am free. Yeah. I did my time. I paid 17 years on some shit, bro. Like, that. some of it, yeah, I deserved it, boy. I'm like, yeah. I, I stand on it. But I, I stood on all of it. But at the end of the day, bro, like, some of it was bogus, bullshit. Systems fucked up. It's garbage. Yeah. Yeah. Not really set up to... Bro, to kind of help you, bro. You was telling me the story. Now, one of the stories I definitely want you to tell here because it it's crazy, bro. Is like, is when you got out during the pandemic. So that was like some. Like, oh man, that was like some shit. That listen, I was like, yeah. In wow. O, in oh wow. in oh eight, I got hit on some charges in Jerome, Ida, or in 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 eighteen. I'm sorry, I got hit on some charges in Jerome, and was facing a lot of time, like ten to like mandatory minimum, and. They couldn't, they had, the case was weak. So they had to, the best they could hit me with was a, a, a hydrocodone five milligram. And like, I got five years for that shit, for, for a hydro five, one pill. You got five years. And this for is a, after I topped. Lower tap, bro? Yeah. Like and, a, and, and this is after I topped out 11 years for a half a gram of methanol domestic. 11 years for a half a gram of meth. In a domestic. Wow. When some dude that got convicted for touching some little kids right before me got probation. Like, wow. homie. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Bro, that's, like, how, how like, do you, bro, that's wild. like, the mental the mental aspect of that lock up, too? Because, like, I mean, that you got to be thinking about that. Like, you in there thinking about shit, like, I'm doing time for this. Nah, but you, you got cats flying free, for, you, you know, for that. But you can't think about that. You can't worry about that because you got all these years. Because you know they're in front of you. It don't matter. Like, you, whatever the fuck they're released, they just, they're released. And they're there was released. no way that you could, like, I have tried. hope to fight? I tried. You did? Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, I tried. Oh, bro, I never, I, yeah, don't ever take the first deal. <laughs> Check yeah. out your paperwork, see what the charges, see what it is. Don't ever get spooked, chill, relax, breathe. Because, man, yeah. And learn and learn law. If you if you're out there doing shit and and making moves, learn learn about what the fuck you're doing. So you yeah. know, so you know what's going on. Like, <laughs> yeah, bro, like like make it like it's a part of the job. Type man, shit. Like, just... like bro, if you know if you because man, if you know law and you know they fucked up somewhere, you got room to wiggle. Yeah, yeah, because that's how they operate. Well, bro, that's the, how they gonna clap the you only, down. The only way I had my case got on on the uh, Jerome was because in Idaho, bro. Fuck Idaho system, first of all. There you Shout go. out to all my boys out there doing bids and trying to make it. Because in Idaho, for a lot of years, bro, they driver was getting pulled over and passengers dumped bags in their car. And they charged the driver because the vehicle was in the driver's name. Okay. okay. So, like, the driver might not have had shit, but the dope under the seat is now his because the punk in the back seat couldn't tuck that shit or, or, you know what I mean? And he put it on the driver. 
And that's been going on out there for years, bro. For man, there's people in wow. Idaho. Bro, there's people in Idaho doing ten years on residue charges, bro. Because when you get out and fuck up, they take your street time. But yeah, bro, they, they pass the proximity law, and it stays. It has to be within your reach, uh-huh. or have to have knowledge of within the, the vehicle. Yeah, yeah, it has to be within the reach of the driver, in order to have to have knowledge it was in the vehicle. Got you. Okay. And they they lost that. It, in your they case. didn't have it in my case. So the best they could hit me with was that pill. And then I went, bro, I went to the mental hospital on that trip. Was, that's a whole other shit. But I got out on that one right six days before the pandemic hit. And when everybody gets released, they give you a 90-day supply of meds. And, like, set you up with a, with a clinic because I was set up with Terry Riley. You know I mean, I still got... I still talk to my doctor there, and the pandemic hit. PMP shut down. This was in Boise. PMP shut down. Ev- bro, everything uh, shut down. Like I didn't see a PO for my first eight months out. Wow. Yeah, bro. I wasn't even that's, in. That's like, bro, that's crazy to bro, think I, about. Like you, you getting out to this. And I'm sure they had you like set up with like different like processes you gotta do. You gotta do this. Oh, you bro, gotta do that. I, talk to this person. That person. I'm high risk supervision, so I'm supposed to piss in the cup twice a week. I'm supposed to be in the office once a week, like. So yeah, bro. Yeah. Okay. Like my PO's the, the head of the gang test. Like shout out Stephanie Whiter. <laughs> like nah, hey, she could, hey, she could have been way harder on me. She was cool. Yeah. Bro. She yeah. Good. But Good. but nah, uh, bro, I. I ran out of psych meds 90 days in. I was taking 600 milligrams of Seroquel a, a day. Like, I, I and ran out cold turkey. Like, bro, people commit suicide off that shit. Yeah. Yeah. I made it like six days, bro, and called my boy. Say, I need a bag. Yeah. Like we yeah. Gotta, we gotta get Send a bag, bro. That works. Send it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, man. Bro, that's, man. That ain't never been. It hard. Just, I mean, because, like, just normal people at that time. We're going crazy. You feel yeah. me? It's like normal people are, are, you know, fighting over toilet paper and shit. Bro, you know I was saying? working a full time job doing flooring for twelve dollars an hour. Had to have a piece of paper to go to work, and my roommate sitting on the couch, bro, making eight fifty a week because he got laid off. Mm. I wasn't even barely making that in a week and a half, two weeks. Like real talk. Wow. Yeah. Like people working through the pandemic got fucked, bro. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I mean, small businesses went under. Like, yeah, bro, the economy was booming, and we took a hit. Yeah, and it's like you get out to that, and that was the yeah. You feel me? It's like this is and, this and is freedom. This is my freedom right now. And not only that, bro. Like, I topped out my big one in 2016. So, like at that point, like I went to Minnesota for a little while doing commercial solar fields, but I was still running and gunning. I was still making moves, like. When I got hit on that one, I was on my way to do some other shit in a few days. I was leaving state, yeah. Minnesota bound. It was important. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. But, so, bro, so to, what's incredible about this to me is that to to get from that to to here, I mean, now you're, you're running a business in Bozeman, Montana, bro. Bro, like, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, like operating. That shit's crazy. Shop, yeah. you know, setting up yourself like uh Using the same principles, yeah. you know what I'm saying, of the hustle the game, same, right? Bro, bro, <laughs> listen to me, it's the same hustle. The same it's hustle. the same hustle, bro. I still got to I still gotta build clientele. I still got to provide a service better than the next man. Yeah. You know what I mean? I still got a market. I still got a network. Now I'm just pushing a different product. And instead of hurting people and selling poison, I'm helping people and making them feel good. Yeah. Yeah, period. And, bro, and if you, and if you can do that shit, like – that has to be. That has to send a message to, to people in that life. Because I mean, I, I I know folks don't like listening to. They don't like listening to motherfuckers tell them to do shit when they haven't done it. You feel me? Like no, they don't yeah, like listening yeah, to no. advice from motherfuckers no, that man, haven't been yeah. there, that haven't done shit like that. Bro, so the like funny, you, the funniest shit in the world to me, bro, is a is a drug and alcohol counselor that ain't never done drugs or alcohol. That they never touched it a day in their how life. How the fuck you, you know? Hey, yeah, how yeah. the fuck you know what's going on, bro? I've been. I was an addict at 13, 14 years old, bro. I shot meth 
heroin, smoke, cocaine. Bro, I was doing, yeah, I was moving. I was get, I was fucked off. You know what I mean? Burying a lot of shit that, yeah, burying my demons. Yeah. Yeah. And I, bro, I did it my whole life. I was shooting meth up until April, April uh, 4th, 2021. Damn. Yeah, I, I got a hotel room for my last three days. Shot about eight ten grams and, and <laughs> yeah, wait, up. nigga, you said listen to me, listen to me, bro. bro look, yeah, look, I, I promise look, you, I listen to me. Bro, fourth, I got I got people that I still talk to today that knew me in that life, bro. That will vouch for everything I'm talking about. Like I used to show up with big bags, homie, and just dump shit in the cup in the hotel room, put some water in it, like. I was gone, bro. I was trying to die. That's but instead I just built a tolerance. Yeah. And that's how I grinded. That was my tweet. While other motherfuckers taking shit apart or stealing copper doing what the fuck they doing, I'm selling dope. Yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah, I could bro. keep going. I get high, eat some food, motherfucking back some, yeah, I'm running. Right back to it. Right, right back, back at it, bro. And, and yeah. Bro, that, uh, because at that at, at the age I was at, bro, I couldn't get a job. Like, it was the only option was get it. Yeah. When Figure you're, it out. When you're on your own from that early, bro, you oh. don't really got the, all you don't of the list. legal options and nah, shit. Nah, man, I saying? couldn't get you're a not... job. I did get a job as soon as I, like, f- f- met somebody. I was working under the table, changing oil. But I was down in the pit. I was out of sight. And I was mad, and the, and the boss was, boy, we was all getting fucked up, bro. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, it was, it was fun. Bro, that's we had fun. I had a couple questions, bro, because I, I was thinking like, you know, because like when you, I think I asked you this off camera before too. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you when you're out there and you're moving and you're doing what you need to do. In your mind, you're like, I gotta do this to eat tonight. You feel me? If I if I don't do this, I ain't gonna eat. In my no, cause bro, listen, I I, I was on dope, so I had a habit, and I had to make money. Which is twice as hard. Because, you know, they always say, don't get high on your own supply. Yeah, shit goes wrong from time to time. But, bro, if you, if you, like, I learned how to do it at a young age, and I took a lot of L's young. So when I got older and, like, bro, I always had good, I always had enough. So it didn't matter. Like, I've had a roommate steal 50 grams. And, like, I just laughed at him because they're stupid. I was about to get more. That was the end of the bag. Yeah. It didn't hurt. Yeah. Like, it hurt a little bit. <laughs> but now you got to get the fuck out of my house. Like, period, bro. Like, you fucked up your life. It was two of you them. Fucked up your it was two people staying with me, and I couldn't prove who it was. So both of them had to get the fuck out. Oof. Yeah, because I took their phones, went through them. Like, I was trying to find out, and I couldn't. So they both got to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Just to be safe. That life yeah. paranoid, bro. You got you gotta be, right? Well, well I, I, don't I don't know who fucked me. You know? So you both gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. By default, one of y'all fucked up. Period. Yeah. Yeah. It's a clean house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bro, listen. Bro, that's- I, you can't grow attachments to people when you live in that life. Cause bro, I done picked up and left states. Like, gone. Yeah. You're fast. If it, yeah, bro. You have the, like, I almost, before I got clean, like, bro, I had the option to go shoot, go to Mexico. And, like, it was seriously in consideration. It, <laughs> it was hot, bro. Hey, listen, it was hot. And listen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Seriously, listen, consider, listen, bro. Look, listen, look. Listen to me. I believe you. Yeah, I, I believe you, bro. Like when, when you say it, they got like I, I, I believe you. Seriously, yeah. consideration. Well, look, bro, that's yeah. that's the next question I got is like what what stops that? Because I know that because you you a hustler. Like by all means, I can see that one hundred percent. So like what what stops you from doing that? Is it just like I love you love yourself more than the game ain't the same, bro. This game today is not the game I grew up in. Like, the only time somebody got a bag that was going to kill them back in the day is if they had it coming. Yeah. Like, and that was, and that, that, that was, that was few and far between, bro. There, there was rules. Like, bro, the, the, the fentanyl, some, they're pushing an agenda, bro, because 
at the end of my run, that's all they were trying to give. Like I couldn't. I mean, I could get. I can get some meth and and, and all that. But the, the big deal was about you gonna take a few thousand pills. And like of just fentanyl. Yeah. They were well. They were selling them off as a uh, as oxys, as thirties because they were stamped with the M on one side, and the thirty on the other side. Well, I had, I was never in the pill game. I never really. I mean, this I fuck with some ecstasy, but I never really pharmaceuticals wasn't my thing. Another lane. No, 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 no. But they they passing them off as oxys, so and they were like two dollars, like a couple dollars. Running, <laughs> you know what I mean. But yeah. then, brother, then I get them, and I start. But then I start, <laughs> I start, funny. I start driving them. Well, come on, bro. There's like two dollars a piece, bro. The the, pro, the profit the margin is stupid. You, the hustling, you was like, bro. Uh, the profit margin is dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like four hundred percent minimum, depending on the market. That's fucking insane, bro. Depending on the market, is yeah. dumb. Even on the even on the other shit, man. Opiates is bro, and and opiates is an ugly game, cause bro, they need that to live. They need that to be well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That you're you're they rely on you, homie. Like I fu- I fucked with heroin. For, I had a couple years stint with it. I quit in 2017, and bro, that was the worst three weeks of my fucking life. Like homie, couldn't sleep, couldn't eat, sweating. Like, bro, vivid dreams, fucking puking, shitting. Worst jump, want to jump out of your skin, bro. Never the touch out. Those lasted for the home in three weeks. That's fucking crazy. Bro, listen That's like to being me. like the sickest you've been I in was your life a, for three weeks. I, I was a grandma day habit, and I was getting some good shit. Like, so I was some 400 gram shit on two couple of I'll whip it though and sell it cheaper because people were. Had it, had it, Addicts don't listen, bro. You tell them it's bomb, ease up. And they're like, oh, it's bomb. Let's do some more. Like, no, yeah. you can't, motherfucker. Listen to me. If I'm telling you it's good, you know I get down. <laughs> bro. I'll Take my word. Bro, bro. <laughs> that's what I broke. But listen to me. I took a half of one of them fentanyl pills one time. A half of one. And was gone for like eight hours, homie. Wanted it to stop fucking puking. Like, bro just gross and never touch it again and I swear to you that's the only drug in that I've ever done and I've done them that I never touched again like wow. bro check this out I, when I was doing wow. when I was doing heroin I would put a couple points of heroin in my meth shots get that roller coaster I was getting there <laughs> but, lit, but fentanyl said, bro fentanyl <laughs> is a whole different ball game fentanyl Damn. is gross it's scary it's, it's, bro, that shit, they're pushing an agenda. Because, yeah, they know it's coming over here. You can't tell me all this shit's over here and they ain't allowing some of it. At this point, at this point, we all know that bro, there's the, some, the, something being overlooked. The overdoses have reached more than, than uh, the COVID deaths. Why we ain't having a pandemic for fentanyl? Yeah, it ain't crazy. no fentanyl pandemic. When you start thinking about that, that's crazy. They don't give a they fuck. They're not talking about that shit. They don't give a fuck. They don't care about that because, bro, they view addicts as like they're going to weed themselves out. If they can't get right, they're going to they – because, bro, I, I just had a homeboy overdose a few days ago, and I found out yesterday on my birthday, like, had to tell his girl it wasn't her fault <laughs> type shit. And, homie, Heavy. overdoses, it's – and he was doing good. He had, like, 90 days. I want to say, just graduated drug court. Like, I used to serve him some years back. And he called me, like, six, eight months ago, looking for where can I get a hookup. I think, bro, I don't do that no more. Like, and you need to quit fucking around because this shit ain't the same. I mean, you, you, you're going to catch a bag that's going to kill you. And fucking, here we are, homie, six months later. Not even. Damn. Probably not even. Like, I could go back and look at the message. Like, yeah, bro, it's not a game no more. This, this, you you can't relapse. Usually, is a part of addiction because people slip and fall, bro. It's hard to come off that shit, especially like you because you chasing that shit. 
and then to get clean, man, it it's a whole different ball game. Like you got to learn to deal with a lot of shit without dope. Like you got to relearn how to live life. Period. And then a relapse, man. Even on fentanyl, if you do half of what you was doing, you're dead. Like, but it's not even that no more. Like I read, I saw in the news like five kids, five kids died in an apartment, bro. They 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 bought a bag of coke from somebody. And uh, all went back thinking they were going to chill and have some fun, do some blow, you know what I mean? And they all died. Police come to the scene, test the bag. It's not a trace of cocaine in the bag. But listen to me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because that's some whole different shit. Let me break that part down to you. Whoever sold that to those kids knew that they were selling them a bag that they thought was cocaine that they was going to go back to the house and do a line of blow. Because a line of blow, you can do a, a decent-sized line of blow. You can't do a line of heroin like that. You definitely can't do a line of fentanyl like that. You definitely you can't do a line of heroin that side. But they went back thinking they was going to do some cocaine. And all died. Like, homie, that's some whole different shit. Whoever sold them that bag knew them kids was going to go home and die. That's fucking crazy. That's a different, that's, that's crazy, a, bro, that's, that's, a, that, that, that's a different type of dealer. Because we didn't do shit like that. I always, and. I mean, that's just, that's just a murderer, bro. bro. Like, that's just like a, and like a mass murderer at that, bro. Because you trying to get them to, to sit from the cup type shit. You're selling them. Yeah, bro. But how, how are they finding, how are they finding 85 million doses of fentanyl so many times? Come on, bro. Like, you can only tell me they they don't know. They're not helping this shit get here. Or bro, po- population control, bro. Get them out the way. They are, they are it, burden it, on it's society. Hard, it's hard to argue it. They are burden it's, on society, bro. So Because the people view addicts as weak, which is fucking garbage. Because to get, to get out of that fucking life, it takes everything. It takes a... Bro, you know what? In my opinion... It takes a strength that, like, uh, that you wouldn't gain otherwise. You, you feel what I'm saying? Like, like, like. So if you just wrote off all addicts, right? Then there wouldn't be a man in the woods trailer right here, right now. Well, it will you know be, but I wouldn't be in it because my boy was doing this, and I, I just got blessed to, to get the opportunity to run it. Well, you wouldn't be here in it. I wouldn't right be now. here you in it. Be here right I now. wouldn't be in Montana, couldn't here. No. And it's like that's wild, bro. Because I mean, you clearly. Bro, I shouldn't be here. But you are. Yeah, no, I but am. But you are. And the every fact day. That you are, like, it's, bro, like that's, that's a day, phenomenon bro, shit. Every day, about. every day is dope. Right? Every, every day is a blessing. That's why I ride with my system and my music up. Because I don't give a fuck what people do. I think. Bro, I don't care what these people think about me. Like, I had to deal with it for a minute. But, like, man, I, I'm out here bringing something different and bringing quality haircuts. Like, if you can't get past, if, you, if, if that's not enough for you, then please. Great Clips is down the street. Yeah. Or go see my boys over at Upper Cuffs. If you can't look past how like, how we're different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's, bro, that's, bro, you. <laughs> Bozeman, that's you. Bozeman, Montana is not the whole world. Like, there's other places in this world. We had metal detectors in junior high school, bro, back in 95, 94. Like, fast. Yeah, school was violent. Bro, all this stuff that's going on today has been happening. But back in the day, there wasn't social media. There wasn't camera phones. We didn't have phones, bro. We didn't have internet. Life was uh, fucking great. Yeah. Bro, life was good. Because everybody was outside. Yeah. Because you had to know your neighbors to have friends. You had to know your neighborhood. That's why everybody's kids got raised by everybody else, too. And it was a village. Because if somebody saw you doing some dumb shit, we might have been fucking up, but we still had we still had people, like, teaching us the ropes. Yeah. It's still a standard. It's, your, your it's, still, it's still a standard that you live by, no matter what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Don't burn people. Keep your word. You know what I'm saying? If 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 I fuck if if something got hit or something like that, everybody that I ever fuck with know I call them and tell them, hey, check this out, bro. This is what happened. We, let's figure it out. Like I threw my my one how many keys in my kettle. Like I had a 06 CTS, charcoal gray on doves. Mm. Just shot him the keys and had to get out of town. Like this is the yeah. best I could do, homie. 
You know what I mean? I'm sorry that shit went down. Yeah, bro. That's, yeah, but that's a life, bro. I think bro, this is a life that, that most people don't don't uh. Well, no, they like this shit when it's on TV or when they're reading about it. Yeah. But when it's in the they when it when, yeah, but when when you see somebody to come from it, oh no, like what the fuck? Yeah, like like you're not out here trying to hurt people. No, like, you're not out here trying to intimidate bro, people, to me, trying bro. to scare people. This is the trying first. To, like, this is the mean? first place. You're not a monster, nigga. <laughs> check this. Check this out, bro. I've lived in four states. Man, Florida, I don't. Yeah, four states. This is the fourth one. This is the first state, bro, that I've lived in. Well, I'm not known as the dope man. Like I'm not known. I'm not known as as wow. like this motherfucker slaying. Yeah. Doing his thing. You the barber. Yeah. You're I'm the slinging cuts. Yeah. Now I'm slinging cuts. I'm trying to make people look good and feel good, bro. You know what I'm saying? And and there's people going through shit every day. And you man, you never know what somebody's going through. Like yeah. fast. It's like so. People do man just. I feel as, like we were saying at the beginning, bro. I feel people need to be called out on their bullshit more. Because at the end of the day, bro, people people let it get away with what you let them. Like, they only get away with what you let them, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. And, and nothing would change if and, you well, bro, that shit well, go. bro, people have been talking so disrespectful and greasy to people for so long, and nobody done shit. So, so it got comfortable, and they think it's okay. And it's like, man, yep. you, you can't just talk to everybody like that. Like you gonna fuck around and find out one day. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. And I don't want to be. Should the, be aware. Man, bro, of this. But I don't want to be the one to do it. Cause fuck all that. I don't want the troubles. To, like yeah. I pray somebody else. But like man, if somebody's disrespectful, man, people need to stand. Stand up. Yeah. Yeah. Have a fucking backbone. It's okay to walk with your chest up, and with your head up, and with confidence. That's not a fucking like they're 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 teaching that masculinity is toxic now. Man, fuck all that. That shit is trash, bro. That's why we got a world full of soft ass people. Yeah, man, listen to yeah. me. It's it's just you you gotta you gotta find you gotta be you, bro. Like my thing is this: like you got a lot of motherfuckers that's trying to be something else, like what they see on TV, or yeah. you know what I'm saying, yes, or, or, or not or not even that, what they think, what they think they should try to be like. You know what I'm saying? Or if, if they see you, they should be intimidated. No, bro. Because you have tattoos. Like, so you look different. What? You should be this. You know Listen what I'm saying? Like, me, there's bro, different I'll shit that... I, I will chop it up with anybody about anything. I'm yeah. a barber. I, I, I can attest to that. I've seen, bro, I've we, seen you we do done that chopped, And we done chopped and it up hell of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, bro, I don't care. I'm my, yeah, but I chop it up with anybody. That's how I network. That's how I, I meet people, man. You got to meet people, man. It, yeah. it, like, at the end of the day, social media is great because it gets it out there faster. But it's different when you shake hands. People remember you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I give them a business card, shake their hand, talk to them for a minute. Bro, people don't forget me. Yeah. So, yeah, it's different putting in footwork. But, yeah. And hey, you've been doing a lot of that out here, bro. You got to. Montana's a, a word of, of mouth state. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> word of mouth. And, and so, so, whether they like you or not, they're going to talk about it. Like, oh, you know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, yeah, yeah, you and like I'm not, and, and, Stay and, out there. And, bro, it's, it's just. I've dealt with it my whole life. I'm saying so, like, it's nothing really new. I've always been different. I always stand out, whatever. Like, but people just, people judge because they don't understand and they don't know. You know what I'm saying? Instead of instead of maybe being like, well, damn, why is he like that? Why, why, you know what I mean? And instead of being like, well, maybe somebody been through something. Because, bro, everybody's been through some shit, some worse than others. You know what I'm saying? But 17 years in prison running the streets with a dope habit, selling dope as a kid. Like, I, I had to be a certain way. Otherwise, I wasn't going to make it. Yeah. Bro, I, I was selling dope down on Fremont. I was doing dope down on Fremont 15. I was on Fremont 15. And, boy, anybody knows Vegas knows that area. South Coast, Sunflower. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bro, my picture was up on the, yeah, I was 86 from all them spots. Yeah. That's crazy. It was like, yeah, bro. At the, you said at 13, at 14. Well, 15. I was down there 15, 16, 17. Yeah, bro. And then I got hit down there, yeah, went away 18. Like, Fremont, yeah, bro. It was, 
like you said, bro, you, you that's a that's very shark like, bro. Like you out there, you out selling there dollar, bro. Yeah, and I'm I'm white, like, bro. But you're not gonna tell me I can't be over here hustling. Like I'm just trying to get some money like you. Like I ain't trying to do nothing. I'm not trying to step on your toes. It's bro. There's always plenty of smokers for everybody. Yeah. Bro, back back in the crack, bro, when the crack ever hit, and bro, it was smokers for everybody. Like you could ha- you could have different. Bro, it's like have McDonald's. We and, used to and kick. King. We bro, we like used to kick it four, five, six deep, bro. And everybody, we all got work, but our fiends come up to us. Or if somebody comes to run out, you run and step in for them. Yeah, if you if you got if you got some some people you fuck with that are cool with you, bro. Like everybody can eat. That's why I don't ever under all all that other extra shit, bro. All that banging and all that. Yeah, man, all that shit is retarded. It is not what the fuck it used to be. It is not. There's no code. There's no nothing. The motherfuckers are selling bank. They're killing their clients. They're killing their money to yeah. bring a police eat. So how is that as a bro? That's not business. business that's not a business. That's not a good business model. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's not a good business. You're putting yourself out of business and then in jail. Bro, the first time a kid overdoses, and I'm sorry to say this, but don't let it be a suburban kid, overdoses on something, bro, police heat, it's hot. It don't matter if you don't want to sell it to them or not. If you hustling, it's hot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially when you're in smaller areas. Like, Cause there was a you got t- you got tuck away from because once I stopped little, little. once I quit pushing the pills I was still pushing black and 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 dope and some crystal, but I wasn't fucking I fentanyl wasn't for me, bro. I don't need that that bro. They're they're charging people, which Ed, listen to me. This is the only thing you will hear me hear me say this about of somebody. Hustling or getting it in or whatever. If you're dealing fentanyl, fuck you. I hope you get a life sentence. I hope you go away for the rest of your fucking life. Because you've ki- you're killing kids. I've lost 21 friends in 27 months. Like, Damn. everybody's dead, bro. Everybody's dying. That shit is garbage. Yeah. That shit is trash. Like, on some real shit. And you could just be out there knowingly pushing that shit. Type shit. Just no yeah. one, no one is killed. No one is yeah. doing that. No one it already. Yeah, bro. I don't give a fuck how good the profit margin is. Have some fucking morals. Yeah. Where's your code at? Where's your morals, man? Like, yeah. listen to me. And I got a, I got a homegirl that could attest to this. Like, she wanted to shoot dope for the longest, and I, t- I told her you got me fucked up. Like, stop asking me. I will take you the fuck home. Like, I will not put a needle in your arm if that's not something you've already been doing. Because that is a whole different demon. That's a whole, and a lot of people, a lot of people can't deal. I don't, bro, I don't know how the fuck I did. And I know I still, I'm still not all the way right, and I trip on shit I shouldn't, or you know what I mean? I still got my issues. But, bro, like, yeah, a gram shot, bro, that's a whole different rush. There ain't nothing in this fucking world like that. Like, That's wild. It's eat, bro. It's 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 um. Yeah, but fentanyl, bro. That shit. I took a half. That's a pill. just like a death a death hit. I took a half a pill because it, it never touched it again. Like hell no. It was it was about seven eight hour high, bro. Puking, like nodding out and and waking up nervous, like feeling like oh shit. Like eight and, hours? And, and, and yeah, bro, and and I, I was doing I was doing some tar at the time, and fucking with some some tan powder, but it wasn't nothing like this shit. And bro, I took a half a fucking press, a half a press, and I was doing, bro, I was doing a few grams of meth daily, minimum, like some when it was later into the run or more, but bro, like a half a fucking pill. I ain't never did a drug that was like, nope. And I had a couple thousand of them. Nope. Never touched one again, bro. Like, never smoked one, never nothing. Like, I ate a half of one the first time to check it out. And uh uh-uh. 
cut it. Fuck you had to net, cut it there, bro. Bro, I ain't never did something like. I mean, I done some some LSD and shit where I was like, Whoa, toward the end, like this is too much. But <laughs> but this bro, <laughs> from, this from the jump was not okay. Like I don't know how these people are are, are liking that shit. Like homie, like, what is it doing? Like bro, cause you cause. Smoking it like, yeah, you can get away with doing a little bit more. It's not so easy to OD, but your motherfuckers are still dying from smoking it. Yeah. If you can die from smoking it, man. That's crazy. Get that, that shit the fuck like out, that, bro. Like that airborne Listen to me, it. homie. You can smoke this shit and die. <laughs> uh, <laughs> bro. Yeah, if you can breathe that shit in and die, bro. Bro, that's, I ain't never smoked nothing crazy. that'll kill me. No, like, not like that. No, that. No. And the drugs we did back in the day, we like it was wasn't all this shit nowadays, man. These people, like, it's, it's a bad thing to say, bro. But like, people stood on on the shit they sold. Like, is my shit good? <laughs> For real, fast. Just like I stand on my haircuts, bro. Like my my <laughs> hey, but but it's but I'm telling you, listen to me. You ask anybody that 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 likes that take that. Was doing it and that does. Was doing your thing then, bro. You want to keep you. You want to keep your shit good. Yeah. Yeah, because then then people know they can come to you, get some shit, and they, it ain't gonna kill them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the ones that, cause you know, not all addicts want to just die, bro. Well, bro. Not, they all, well, they bro. Wanna, they cause they cutting meth and all it? that shit with fentanyl now, and and all that, bro. And like my my people knew that they could come get some 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 heroin or some meth, and it it wasn't gonna be yeah. cut with fentanyl. It'll be safe. Yeah, I'm not touching safe. it. Like, yeah, it's it is still what the fuck it is. People still getting and high. The reality but, is, bro. At the end of the day, people gonna run from their demons forever. People are. That, that's the reality. Yeah. People and that's why I don't understand it, fentanyl. So they get safe. But I don't understand fentanyl because, bro, people ain't gonna stop stop getting high. You don't have to hook them like that. It don't matter what drug it is. People are not gonna stop using it. As long as people are fucking people over and treating people like shit and people are dealing with trauma and shit they've been through, homie, people are going to battle them demons. The drug industry. And, 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 and y'all, oh, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and until people get their mental health right, they're going to self-medicate. Because that's what I did for the longest time. Up until, yeah. Up until I got on my meds and then ran out and then it's back at it. But this time I've been consistently... I ain't miss a yeah, day. Been doing it. Yeah, twenty seven. it, bro. Just had twenty seven months on the floor. Bro, that's that's yeah. what I'm talking about, bro. Yeah, bro. That's what I'm talking about, bro. And and bro, happy happy belated born day too, bro. Yeah, yeah. Same 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 birthday as my sister. Yeah, yeah. You know? Hey, she a cancer. <laughs> Cancers are gangsters. You know? Cody, Shout Cody. out. Shout yeah, out. brother. But uh, yeah, man. I want to sit down and do, and do shit like this more and get these stories out, get these conversations out, so people can just sit in. You feel me? Like they sitting there in the shop. They sitting in the in the barber shop. Oh yeah, bro. You know? this, this is my spot. You feel I'm, me? In, I'm in here five days a right? week. And so when he open, come get come get a cut. Yes, this sir. Right now, so yes, tell, tell, tell them where you at. To yeah, I'm on man Boo Barn parking lot, right on Main and North Tenth, Bozeman. We got a website, bookmanofthewoodsbarber.com. Yeah, man. You out there? Yes, sir. We got a, we got the shop in Big Sky. You want to come get a clean cut? Check out Man of the Woods, man. We got you. Keeping keeping the big sky fly, boy. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> hey, my boy, look, it was dope just being here, bro. Yes, doing sir. Doing this with you. Yes, sir. You feel me? And uh, and we, we gotta keep we gotta keep doing this. We'll oh keep this man, shit up. let's do it. it. Let's do it. Right, G. Yes, sir. All right.